What's your musical background? How did you uh, wind up leading the band? Oh man, <laughs> I just heard I just heard him playing. I seen matter of fact, I seen Brian Driscoll. He did it at the last game. And nobody was up there, so I said it's my turn. <laughs> Mike's yeah. When you think about this game 15, 20 years from now, do you remember the sacks you had, or do you remember leading the band? I the band for sure. Okay, uh, we'll go to Jim. You guys do make sure you pull the mic to when you speak, okay? Kid, you were day-to-day uh, -day just a few days ago, and you turn around and have 12 tackles, a uh, sack, an uh, interception of a dart like seven yards away from you. I mean. Did you envision being able to put together this kind of a season in a true freshman year like this? You know, um, first off, I just gotta say I'm blessed. You know, um, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be an opportunity I am, and I'm blessed to be in the position I am. Um, you know, like like I've said in the past, when your name's called, you just gotta go ball, and you know that's what I've been trying to do. And and uh, like you said, I was day to day this week, kind of was kind of was uncertain, but um, you know, with with this week being a holiday. Pretty much had like the whole week off, so you know, instead of being school, it was film. So you know, we got in the film room, and and uh, you know, everyone was watching film, and you know, it paid off. And so uh, it's been a blessing, and, and and I'm fortunate to be here. So. And UCLA offered you when you chose Cal. Does this kind of reinforce that you made the right decision? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, you know, it shows. You know, we beat them, and it shows this is where I want to be. This is where I want to play, and I just made the right decision. So. David, you've had six sacks in just a few games now, maybe even seven. Uh, was there was there something about um, learning the system, getting comfortable, health that, that made you turn it on so much late in the season? Honestly, the only reason I got it, God, I mean, we, we work hard throughout the week, every day, day in, day out. You know, I just keep believing, just go out every day, try to do the best I can. Just do what I got to do and try to do the best I can in order to help the team win. Go to, uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, I want to go back to the uh, fourth and one stop early in the first quarter. Like, how did it just all open up for you uh, like in the middle? Like, how were you able to just snipe through and just blow that play up? Yeah, so, you know, that was a play that we practiced all week. Um, you know, they, they came out that three running back set and, you know, uh, we knew the plays, they ran out of it. So uh, instantly saw, you know, the offensive line move fast, and you know I just hit the gap, you know, I ended up right there, made the play, and and so uh, you know, for me that that's coaching, that's that's on the coaches for putting us in the right position, making the right play, and uh, you know there's nothing that was a perfect play that for that, uh, for that situation. And David, on your end, I mean, you forced a fumble not only against uh, Dante Moore, but he was a former five star, so how did it feel to uh, to get that play against somebody who was really highly talented? It felt good, honestly. You know, I don't really. I, I didn't know he was a five star, uh, but it felt, I mean, it felt good just being able to, you know, put my team in position or put the team in position in order to, you know, we got points out of that drive right before halftime and that gave us a, a, a bigger lead. So, you know, just being able to make plays and do whatever to help the team win, you know, it's always exciting. Manuel, go ahead. Yeah, David, building off that question, what does it mean to have that moment, that kind of defining moment in such a big game like this as a senior? Before I do this, I just want to tell you, soup fresh. <laughs> but uh, that, that moment is very exciting. You know, uh, if anybody knows my history, they know, you know, I, I battled with injuries a lot in my earlier part of my career. So, you know, just being able to keep persevering, keep uh, keep believing, you know, I just, uh, if, if what I do can help inspire somebody to keep going or, you know, just inspire somebody on the team, do whatever for the team, you know, that's what I'm here for. You know, I don't really get into the or the accolades and stuff like that, you know, at the end of the day, if we come out with a W, I'm always happy. Steve, and for both of you guys, if you go back three weeks ago, you got waxed at Oregon, fourth loss in a row, and I'm going to guess there weren't a lot of people outside of your locker room who would have thought that tonight you'd have a three-game winning streak in full health. Why did you guys still believe after a game like that, after a losing streak, that this could happen? We just had to believe. We had to uh, be persistent, and uh, and we knew it wasn't going to be easy getting those three wins, um, but we knew it was possible, and so that's what we did. And and uh, you know, Coach Wilcox really hits on that, like like you know, we're going to win these. Like even from from after the loss of Oregon, I think in the locker room after that day, he said, 
we're going to bounce back, we're going to get these three wins, and we're going to go to a bowl game. And that's what he said the entire time, and we believed him. You know, he, uh, he trusts us, and it's, and it's worked out for us. It's been great. Mia, yeah. go ahead. There were a lot of Cal fans in the stands today. What did that turn out to you guys? Hear what I said? Oh, you can repeat it. You said there, were, there were a lot of Cal fans in the stands today. What did that turn out mean to you guys? I'm just glad they didn't waste their gas. Uh, <laughs> it was UCLA senior night, and you know, I would have hated to have come on senior night and have lost. So, you know, I'm just glad they didn't waste their gas. You know, we got to come out and perform uh, for them, get a win for Bear Nation. So, you know, I feel like it was a win-win. Steve, did you want to finish your question with David? We just gave you your reaction to after the Oregon loss, how did you envision the fact that you'd be able to come back and win three in a row after, after uh, Oregon? I feel like uh, when, when you play the game, I mean, it's kind of that's what it's about. You know, we grind 12 months a year, and it's not always guaranteed. You don't always get the outcome you want, but at the end of the day, you either going to turn around and walk away or you're going to walk towards the fight. And I feel like, like Kate said, uh, after that game, you know, Coach uh, Coach Wilcox harped on, you know, we're going to come out and get these three games, and, and that's what we're going to do. And uh, we just all uh, hunkered down and believed it. Uh, I feel like that's the biggest thing that everybody believed, everybody everybody bought in. Uh, it was really like a one game at a time mentality. And you know, that's just been our, our uh, mindset these past few weeks. Greg, you're in the problem wrapping up in the room with the final question, Greg. Joe Reed from AP, just for historical purposes, this was the final conference game. Just what does it mean for you guys to kind of go out on the winning end and also say, Uh, uh, I'm from the East Coast, so for me, it was already legendary being able to play in the Rose Bowl. Because, uh, you know, I grew up wanting to play in the stadium just because. But, uh, you know, just to be a part of history, you know, uh, the Pac-12 will be no longer. And uh, this will be a game that will be talked about, you know, for time to come just because it's one of the last games. So I just feel like, you know, I'm just grateful to be a part of history. You know, for me, um, I, I watched Pac-12 after dark when I was a kid, you know, growing up. Uh, years and years and years, and you know those are those are some of the funnest games I watched, and and, um, and I never would have thought that you know one day I'll be playing it and playing in the last one, and you know so I'm I'm really fortunate, really blessed to be here, um, and you know it's there's no better way to do it, you know we went out with the dub, you know UCLA came with came with an L, and uh, you know so it was an awesome experience, team win, couldn't do without everybody, so it's a uh, team effort. Okay, we'll take the final question from Zoom, Jeff Parada. Final question for these guys. Yeah, and David, uh, this is for David, if he's available there. David, can you, uh, can you please describe what the locker room was like after the game when you guys all got in there? Tell me tell me what the mayhem was like in there. Uh, you know, just a, just a little bit of excitement, some water spraying. Uh, we always do the, the chant after the game when we win. Uh, you know, just excitement. Uh, we come a long way as a team. I feel like coaches, players, staff, you know, everybody.